guys, Brad from Fletch Addicts here. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. So I had talked to you about the Spot Hog Wise guy real quick. So this release, I've seen several people shoot it. Um, Cameron Haynes, a couple of other guys. I've seen some people locally that I shoot with shoot this release. And the reason why I got intrigued with it is the adjustability like you can adjust the neck on the release to fit you perfectly and then you can also adjust the tension on it so you can see the little screw right there so you can adjust the tension of what it takes to make the release go off and then I got in the buckle style not the boa because I like to me archery is all about consistency and so I want it consistently in the same hole, same position every single time because you, with archery, to get good, you have to be able to do the same thing over and over and over again. And so that's why I like this release because it's repeatable. You can do the same thing over and over again. So I'll shoot a couple of arrows and then I'll kind of talk about some more stuff. I've been trying to figure out what release I can shoot this Matthews with because it doesn't have a solid back wall from what I've noticed. It wants to lurch forward when I'm shooting a hinge or I'm shooting a butt so I can't relax. Versus like what I've noticed with a trigger release or an index release. It's, I can get this bow back to full draw. And then it doesn't seem like I'm fighting. It doesn't seem like I'm fighting that release. And I can still execute a good shot. So, that one went right in the middle. And if any of my buddies that see this video, they're going to be like, wow, lucky shot. They like giving me a hard time. So, like I said, when I'm shooting this release, what I'm doing is I'm wrapping my thumb around it and then I'm still shooting it like a back tension release. And so, very nice to shoot. Alright. So, like I said, when I'm shooting this release, I'm wrapping my finger around it like so, as you guys can see. And I have the tension cranked up enough to where I can do that without having to worry about that release going off until I start pulling on my shot. So this is like if you were going to go with a release aside from a thumb button or something. Like if you don't like shooting thumb buttons or you don't sh like shooting hinges. I've hunted with all three styles of these kinds of releases. Like, to me, this is one of the simplest forms, and it's one of the most user-friendly, so you can actually get down and use it. But like I say, it has the buckle system on it, and it's by Spot, it's the Spot Hog Wise Guy. So, it's by Spot Hog, obviously. But like I say, it has the tension screw right here. And so you can set the tension and then it has this little hook here that you hook onto your D loop. And so it's just a very user friendly release. I actually really enjoy this index release. And I've been fighting with that Matthews phase four, trying to get it to where I can actually shoot it because with the way it's back wall is set up, I can't shoot it with a hinge or a thumb button like it just constantly wants to lurch forward so setting it up 
I had my I went in real quick and had my buddy move up my peep sight and so quickly sighted it and, and started shooting this index release with it and now it's shooting pretty good like I'm pretty impressed so where there's a will there's a way so one thing I'll say is just because a bow isn't shooting well for you it might not be the bow completely like yeah I prefer my thumb button over an index release but I wanted to test out because the part the main thing with Fletch X is you know I'm here to help people think outside the box I'm trying to think of stuff that other people aren't thinking of because there's the stereotypical advice like oh well you just bought a he didn't buy a great bow or this or that and sometimes if you just switch the release you can get that bow to shoot and as you just saw I was stacking arrows at 40 yards with this and like this bow I can actually now think that I can shoot it because I shot it a couple times during my summer 3d league and all this other stuff and I just shooting it with a hinge and a thumb button I began to hate that bow I mean hate it so it just sat in my closet for a while and then finally I got the idea of maybe I can maybe it's not necessarily the bow maybe I just need to try a different release and so I like I said quickly had my buddy move up my peep sight and switched over to an index release and now I'm stacking arrows out at 40 yards. So the only tweak that I might have to make is move my fletching on my arrows up just a little bit so the fletching isn't touching my face. I alternated my arrows to where it's not really doing that anymore but still so you don't have to necessarily worry about the small things as much. I'm going to move my fletching up a little bit more and uh, will be set so just kind of wanted to give you guys a th my thoughts on the spot hog wise guy real quick and like I say it's a good release very simple buckles it's an index release so it's very easy to shoot and like I say I just switch up the tension to where I can wrap my finger in it and I'm still pulling with back tension because that is one of the most reliable ways to shoot because you want a surprise shot you don't want to be a trigger puncher are there guys out there though that are great trigger punchers yes there are pros out there that win tournament after tournament that are what you might call trigger punchers they're i forget the term but they're the guys that just like they can just okay i'm gonna shoot and they hit whatever they're aiming at it's impressive but for me, I am a back tension shooter. That is the best way that I shoot. And, you know, if you're having target panic or anything like that, you know, just make sure you're executing a good and well-executed shot. Because you want a surprise release, not an expected one. So, those are kind of my thoughts of how I got my Matthews. To shoot a lot better for me and those are my quick thoughts on the spot hog wise guy hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll be putting out more content soon so hopefully you guys have a great labor day weekend hopefully you all are actually out there getting to bow hunt or just spend time with your families shooting archery hope you guys have a good one bye